In this video, we're gonna sort out the radiator. Back at it yet again. This time we're going to remove this here. So the radiator on the crowd and actually sits at an angle. And I'm using quite a wide radiator. And just the way everything is going to work out, it's going to work out easier if I use the Passat uh, radiator mount, which will sit straight. Because if you can see that, it's kind of sitting at an angle. I think the idea is that the fan would naturally sit here. And as the car is moving forward, it would channel air to move this way. So it's kind of a clean uh, sweep. Going up this way, rather than you have a straight flat, it'll hit the 16 valve engine or the 8 valve engine. Or for the VR6, I don't think it's going to matter too much. Um, at present, when the radiator sits in it, the dipstick here, there's about that much room anyway. So if I have it straighter, it might give me a tiny bit more room. If the engine um, accelerates or deaccelerates as it moves forwards and backwards, it won't hit. It probably makes no difference, but by changing the radiator uh, support here, it'll just let me use bigger radiators, bigger fan, and that's what I'm about to do anyway. So this is my plan. I have taken off the front mount and the radiator support. So I'm going to separate that now. So I'm just back to the front engine mount. Taking the Passat front engine mount, I cut the two armed off the front here. There is two pins that go there. I've cut them both off. That's the other one off. That, the one down there and done the same on this side. So this bracket would normally sit underneath the front engine mount. So all I'm doing is putting this now on top of the front engine mount. So there's a small bit of modification just to do here on the far side, but when you pick it up and we put it down like that, it sits perfectly. So that's how it's gonna sit. And that's my new radiator. So this is my radiator, it's from a Skoda, but it fits. So I've managed to get a quite a wide radiator. And on the back, I have modified the Mark III Golf Vento front. It's the plastic double fin radiator. So that all of this is actually plastic, the surround. So I managed to cut off enough of it to make it fit. There's a bracket that joins here onto the radiator. It comes down like an L and joins there. And then I have two other cup of, uh, nuts and bolts holding it on here. So yeah, it's on fairly sturdy. I'm using the double fan. So um, plenty of cooling there. So this is my sash front beam now installed into the car. And these are the radiator pipes. Of course they're too long, so I've had to cut about that much off, which is about five to 10 millimeters. Okay, so that's the bottom one, top one. Now time to install the radio. Trying to keep everything as easy to fit. So these are little dimples that are already pre-drilled into the steel. So I'm probably gonna use that one there. And they match up with this little lug here. And there's a second lug there, but I have to try and make it match somewhere across here. And of course this is from a different radiator, so nothing's gonna quite match up. So I had to drill a little hole can see that one there so it doesn't have any dimple in it but it does all fit and when we drop it in we'll um hopefully it will fit okay all in now time to get the pipe work in yeah perfect so i'll do the other one now in the bottom in a second all right that's the radiator fitting so it does all fit I had notched it originally with the idea that it would sit quite far back, but it's actually going to sit more forward this way, so it's not going to touch here. And I have to make a little bracket for here, and for probably around there, or maybe back here, just to hold the radiator firm that it doesn't um, move back and forth. Uh, get two clamps there, just put the second pipe on then there. That's the sensor for the thermostat. There are the fan connections. And uh, it's quite a big wide radiator, but it is a, a 3 litre engine basically, so it will need a big radiator. So normally, as I was saying, the, the Corrado engines or the radiators sit crooked, but um, this is going to sit flat, but it's the only way to get this big giant radiator to fit in. So when I have this project finished, the long term goal is to go air conditioning. So I'm leaving enough room 
down here that a, a big air conditioner can um, radiator can fit in here so it's probably not the hardest job in the world but just to get the project finished I want to get the car rolling and and then attack it afterwards so I've enough room that the wheels the um, the pump sits down there and that's the pump sitting there I do have to get a different belt because the belt has to be ribbed on both sides not on one side and I think it might be a little bit longer as well but um yeah so to get a different belt for there it joins in there it'll have pipe work that'll come around to here I have a radiator then to go across there that's it there and uh, then internally I'll have to get a, a second radiator or a condenser or whatever it is called that'll actually let the cold through but um, that's maybe a longer term project for this project I just want to get the engine and everything running so and the car driving but um, yeah it will be a cool project when it's finished okay that's now the front slam panel back on so the reason why I modify the Passat radiator support so rather than going underneath the front subframe it goes on top of the front subframe is because if you don't do that this radiator here would sit down I think it was like two inches and it's just too low where if you move it up when it all comes together it fits lovely so it is actually like tucked in underneath here underneath the slam panel so um yeah very happy with the way it turned out and uh, I'm just going to let down the bottom. I'm not going to click it in because if I do click it in, I don't have any catches, so it'll be a pain to try open it. But um, yeah, I'm going to attempt to close it down and see how it all looks. Okay, so that's it there now closed. Nice big radiator in the front, and it all fits very nicely. So I haven't pushed it down fully because if I do, it'll pain the arse to try to open it up again because the two uh, latches will lock in. But um. Yep, yeah, very happy to how this is coming along. I'm still an awful long way from actually getting the engine running and starting and driving in the car, but every bit helps. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Go on, write something just in the bottom, anything you want. Uh, wish me luck or whatever. But um, yeah, very happy to how this is turning out. Support me on PayPal if you like. As always, see you next time.